Hi, I'm Frank Herb. I'm an electronics instructor here at Lincoln Tech. This is our first semester room. Uh, here in our first semester, you will be learning about Ohm's Law, studying DC circuits and AC circuits, and the tools that um, are necessary to study or, or examine these circuits. Uh, you'll be working with uh, digital multimeters, um, signal generators, uh, as well as the oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is a component that um, is the electronic technician's main, main tool. It is their best friend. Uh, and if we do our, our um, job correctly here, um, this oscilloscope, um, you're going to know all the ins and outs of this, of this tool and component. Uh, as you can see, it's going to uh, show you what um, information is traveling on that wire. The waveforms, the signals that are, that are going through, um, voltage sine waves, um, determining what frequencies these are, these are at, um, to, to examine the characteristics of these different waves that are traveling through your circuit. In first semester, you're also building um, these circuits on this solderless um, proto board. Um, and here, you're going to be taking your through hole components, um, building the circuit, comprising the circuit to, um, to meet your needs uh, of what we're studying. Um, you can see this, we have our signal generator. Our signal generator is a component that allows us to uh, pump in these signals um, through the circuits and then uh, follow or trace through their, their path with that circuit. In first semester, you'll also be building your uh, power supply. The power supply is going to provide you with clean DC power as well as AC uh, power. You can see that um, it is a nice um, component, but you are building this from, uh, from the kit. Um, you're going to be putting this together to, to hone your um, uh, procedural skills as well as your soldering skills um, and it's, it's that first step into uh, putting your hands to work. Um, this is our third semester room. Uh, in, in, this, in this room it's outfitted for our digital fundamentals as well as our advanced digital uh, where we're learning microcontrollers and PLCs. Uh, here we have an example of our uh, microcontroller. Our microcontroller that we're going through is an 8051. Um, and we're looking at the hardware architecture of the 8051 microcontroller as well as how to uh, program it. Um, where we're putting our hands in on, on, on this piece of equipment is we have our, our solderless um, prototype board where we're building our circuits and interfacing it to the 8051 to, um, to really um, focus in on the, the real world aspects of what you would be doing out in the field. And here we have our PLC. This is our MicroLogix 1000. This is a, a, a micro PLC that allows us to uh, do some industrial controls. Uh, a PLC is an industrial computer. So where we had the microcontroller showing us a computerized system, um, here we have this industrial computer to um, automate um, how our products are brought to us, putting uh, toothpaste in tubes, doing lighting controls, and here we have this uh, micro uh, Logix 1000. It is a smaller of the Allen Bradley um, provider, um, and we're programming that micro Logix 1000 with uh, RS Logix. RS Logix is uh, across the Allen Bradley um, portfolio on, on how to program all of their PLCs. Uh, we also have our Slick 500. Our Slick 500 is a, a much larger PLC, as you can see, uh, and it is a modular PLC compared to this fixed PLC, where we can uh, customize the number of input and output modules, uh, analog modules for sensors, and, and doing that automated control. Um, here, we focus in on how to, uh, to program and how to interface and solve those applications for uh, an automated process. And this is our four semester room. Uh, here, we're going over communications, uh, AM, FM communications. You can see uh, behind me, we're, we're going through a single sideband uh, receiver, um, but you can see that it's going to be a, th a theoretical approach as well as a hands-on approach. Uh, and, and that builds us to, we, we go over mathematics, but not math for math's sake, but math with a purpose. Uh, and we take that mathematics and we unlock our theory, and then we make that theory solid um, by our hands-on process. So our hands-on process, we have the equipment to, uh, 
to help you build and test these circuits that you see, uh, as well as we, we uh, perform surface mount soldering in this room. So the surface mount soldering stations are in the back um, and, and we're outfitted for the provisions that we need to, uh, to take you through uh, the surface mount soldering as well as your four semester communications, AM, FM, fiber optics, uh, some network communications, um, and, that, and that's what we're looking at um, in our um, communications semester.